Hi, this is Mark with your analysis for the week commencing the 21st of November. Huge indecision at the moment on lots of pairs. This is the Euro USD on a weekly chart and you can see here last week's candle opened and closed within 20 pips. The Aussie dollar similarly on a weekly chart had less than 20 pips between its open and close price. And the CAD has had less than 20 pips on a monthly chart. So these are extremely sensitive, unusual markets with a huge amount of indecision. How do we try to play them? The euro is going to be almost impossible to try to predict this week because we have the scenario of Mr. Trichet speaks to the European Parliament on Monday. On Tuesday it is rumoured that the Irish government and the IMF will make some sort of announcement and no one is sure whether or not that is going to have a knock-on effect with Spain and Portugal as well. Tuesday is also FOMC day, Wednesday there's big news and then Thursday is the start of the long weekend for the US with Thanksgiving. Very very tricky to technically trade when there is so much fundamental news going on in the background. So I'm going to be very wary with anything euro related. The obvious areas still here are the upper trend line and the recent high around the 142.50 area uh, and 13500 did hold last week again but I wouldn't be keen to long here now. Uh, the 58 cross has rolled over, stochastics are rolling over, lots of things on this chart suggest to me this is due a fall. Now the way to play this for me would be a break and close below 13500 and if you're doing that from a weekly you have to wait till next weekend for that move to happen. Aussie dollar, similar scenarios I've just shown you. What is a appropriate here is price came up, bounced off the support and resistance line we had in place from last week and off the bottom support area as well. It again has a scenario where we have a 5-8 cross, Bollinger Bands closed on the weekly, stochastics are rolling over. USD CAD monthly and let's go to the weekly. I don't trade the CAD very often. This it can be a horrible pair for spikes and you can see here in recent weeks look at these horrible horrible spikes where price has burst out of an area and simply come back to where it is and along the way taking out people's hard-earned money and stops. Uh, from a weekly perspective 1.03 would still be of interest but I would be wary. Aussie dollar yen another one where we are waiting for a breakout and a pullback the only other way you can do this is to do it on a daily chart and wait for a daily close above this 82.85 area or below 81.35. The euro pound here on the weekly we are in a potential triangle breakout scenario and the weekly move you would have to be looking for a break and close below here with a view to a fall or a break above and a close and a pullback up there. The only final other things that you can look for would be once again to look for bounces. So if price comes up to here all the way up to 89 again, you will be looking for a potential bounce back down. This is the Euro Yen on a monthly. Now this is interesting. We started looking at this a few months ago and I pointed out that we have a potential 5,000 pip move brewing here. This is a triangle and the theory behind a triangle is that the distance between the top and the bottom of the triangle, look at the middle figure, 5651, this is a five digit platform, ignore the last figure. So the potential here, according to the theory of a triangle breakout, of almost 5,700 pips worth of movement. And we've watched this and watched this and watched it. We have MACD divergence on the monthly chart. We have the stochastics starting to roll over and cross above the 25 on a monthly chart. We have price starting to break out and a 5-8 cross brewing. So lots of things to suggest at the end of this month if price breaks and closes above there we will look for a pullback with a view to a long. If you wanted to do this on an intraday then the 1134 was an area that has just broken. I would be definitely interested tomorrow if price comes back to 113.40 before Mr. Trichet's speech I would be interested to long this pair. This is the dollar yen on the daily chart. Once more we have come to a support and resistance area on uh, 83.55. It's bounced off it four days running. What we need here is a break and close above with a view for a long. It does look bullish. 
However, if it was to turn back down again, then you would realistically be looking for a break below 83 with a view to a short. Euro USD, I showed you on a weekly, uh, on a daily, we have a potential triangle breakout. And as I've just shown you, the potential suggests there's a possible 1,000 pip move here. On a daily, it does look bullish. 5-8 cross forming, stochastics rolling over, and the way once more to play the triangle breakout. If price breaks and closes above this line, we look for a pullback with a view to go long. Or if it was to break down, we would look for a pullback with a view to a short. Similarly, on the British pound, I favour the British pound over the euro because there's less news, so it's likely to be less sensitive. And the other thing is, if it can break below this 55, there's less in the way for a decent fall on this pair. Flip side, of course, if price is to go back up again, then you would look for a break and a close above this trend line with a view to a long. Dollar Swissy, another one that has moved sideways now for four weeks. It has tested and rebounded off twice now in the last two weeks running off the one for one area and once more you are looking for a break and a close or a break and a close below. I showed you potential areas for bounces and breaks on the euro pound on a weekly chart earlier. On a daily th there's a strong element this week you're going to have to think for yourselves you're going to have to look at situations as they arise. For example, this is the euro pound on the daily chart and the stochastics are turning up, 5-8 cross turning up, but it is still for me in a downtrend. 8600 I normally would be all over to short, but my difficulty is that if I was to short here, my potential target is only 100 pips below and realistically my stop needs to be a minimum of 90 pips away and I would really prefer to be up here above 87.20. So there's no way I'm going to take a trade that risks 140 pips to gain 100. Remember, the minimum risk-reward ratio we look for is 1 for 2. So we, for every dollar that we risk, we aim to earn at least $2 in return. If you can't see the potential for that, then don't take the trade. So the options are you could look for a break and a close above 86 tomorrow. Uh, on a four hour or a daily with a view to a long back up to say to 87.20 or you could look for I prefer if price comes back down here breaks 84.80 closes below and then with a view to a short but I say it's going to be a minefield this week we're going to have to play our way around all the news uh, FOMC for a start off as you know is extremely volatile and can be and uh, this euro situation is just uh, a cloud on the horizon we have no idea when someone is going to make an announcement. And then the final thing, as I say, is that for many US traders, the week will end on Wednesday evening. And without them in the equation, then the markets usually will be very quiet. And it's compounded by Tuesday is a Japanese holiday. So leave anything Japanese yen related on the Tuesday. I'll up update you during the week and we'll, we'll take this day by day. I think that's the best thing for the week ahead. Have a good week.